We did have some sad news today from the NBA world, and that was the passing of former player and coach Paul Silas. Just your thoughts yeah. on Paul. The three-time champion, obviously a lot of people remember him with the Boston Celtics, was a head coach in the league, an assistant coach for a long time. I got to know Paul when he was an assistant coach with both the New York Knicks and the New Jersey Nets. And when you, I remember covering that team when you talked to guys like Derek Coleman, Jason Williams, Armand Gilliam. The big men, they all revered Paul because he had a, you know, uh, a confidence about him and a no-nonsense about him. The sweetest guy. And when you watched him play, when you go watch film, and I spoke to Bob Ryan, the legendary columnist from the Boston Globe today who covered Paul. Paul was such a ferocious rebound and such a competitor. But off the court, he really was a gentle giant. And I know a big thrill for Paul was getting to see his son, Stephen Salas, finally get a head coaching job. Steve was a, an assistant coach for a long time. You would go to Charlotte. Steve would be there on the bench. And his parents would be there sitting there watching all the games. I know that was a proud moment for him. And, you know, obviously our condolences to the, the Silas family. What a terrific guy, terrific ambassador for the sport as a player and also as a head coach. All right, Frank, well put. As news broke of Silas's passing, there was reaction from some of the icons he crossed paths with. Michael Jordan called him an incredible leader, and LeBron James said that Silas was probably one of the greatest human beings he's ever been around. His impact will last forever upon the game he loves so much.